And how's it going guys, SG Wix here, and thank you for checking out Star Gaming. Before we get into this video today, please check out the description below. You get our social and our sponsors, and we hope you guys enjoy what you see on our Facebook, Twitter, because we are extremely active on there. So, without further ado, let's go and get started. So, these are our overall leaders for the team. We got our content creating director, our sniping leader, our studio leader, our community leader, and our competitive esports leader. Now, we got Hop and Ben. We got our sniping leader position filled. We got our studio leader position filled. We had the content creating director, so his job would be to schedule things like that. Uh, that position is open. A community leader position is open, which is actually the easiest job on the planet. And then we got the esports leader position. Now, the content creating director, like I said, his job is to schedule videos, but his job is also to maintain and make sure the content creating team, we are all keeping up. Now, people can voluntarily upload videos on the channel, even if not part of the content creating team. There'll be a special day set to where they can upload anything they want on that day. As far as every other day, there'll be scheduling and like if me and Johnny come in and decide to upload a stream, see you can stream when you want, but uploading is a different story. We can do that. He can't tell us what to do or not. Now, let's say he wants to add somebody to, to the content creating team. That's fine and dandy, but that requires approval from us. But like I said, other than that, that's a fairly simple, uh, you just got to have YouTube experience, commentating experience, and be able to be active daily. And now we understand you got school, you got jobs. An hour a day will maintain the goals of what we, our expectations on the channel. Alright, Hop is the overall sniping leader, so he leads the positions for PlayStation and Xbox. We do not currently have positions open for Steam or any other PC platform. The thing of it is, we want to have 10 snipers for Xbox and 10 snipers for PlayStation. We're going to keep episodes going, intros going, uh, montages going, because we want to be able to reach the sniping community as well. That is extremely important. We have the SG Studio, which does the graphic work and editing. Now, if you're an editor or you're in some other position, that's perfectly fine. You can do as you please. Um, but these people are designated to do just that. Now, they can participate in sniping videos, if the clips and things like that. It's all about standards. If they meet each other's standards, that's fine. But we want to try to focus on the people that are actually part of that team. The community leader is the easiest job in the team. I'm surprised nobody has taken it up. It's up for grabs. Let me tell you how this works. So pretty much the community is the people who do not want to be in a team per se, but they just want to be part of SG with the SG name. SG whatever. That's fine. Your job in, as an SG uh, community member, not necessarily the leader, is to l literally an XGM. You recruit people. They actually go by gamer tag layout is SG. Now, clan tags are SGN. So, uh, Star Gaming Nation. That's what we like to go by as a community. We do try to advertise that. We really want these to be big ass divisions. We want at least 25 people per division, A to Z, on each platform. That's a lot of people. We can do it over time, but we want the community to be big because as a community and as a team, all of us can work together to make that one name get where we want it to be. Subscriber rates, the view rate, and also the name because we try to for our size and for what we have we try to be as professional as possible and I know we're not much but people have recognized that and they acknowledge it considering we have sponsors now and we do appreciate that and uh, we have people asking us if they would if we would like a sponsor from them and, it, and it's actually really nice and uh, we're learning new ways to tw uh, to uh, stream to upload, to edit, there's all sorts of things we're learning every day. 2017 is the year for SG, and I can't stress that enough. Aviator stresses that all the time, and I know we can do it. So that position, to have been the esports leader, you had to be 100% dedicated to esports. You have to have MLG and UMG accounts, both active. Your rank is not necessarily... It's a skill, not so much as the rank. Your rank doesn't... Your rank doesn't show a whole lot because you could be having off games or something your actual skill within game being able to work as a team is what we want to see your rank really doesn't show anything but if you're active daily 
daily. I mean, you have to be active daily on the esports team because we want to have multiple teams. We want to get into League of Legends eventually. We want to get into Gears of War, all sorts of these esports tournaments, and eventually make our way to land tournaments. And again, all of this is to make this name stand out. See, we call ourselves Star Gaming, but people t uh, don't understand. We are that one star that shines above the rest. Nobody can comprehend why we say that because we're not big. You don't have to be big to shine like a star. It's all about honesty, dedication, and heart. Alrighty, guys. I think we have covered pretty much everything. If you guys are interested in, in the team, again, we are always recruiting and we'll always review applicants to the team. All you have to do is comment, tweet at us, or email us. All that's in the description below. Again, thanks for watching.